Okay, let's get started. So first off, these are the needed supplies you'll need for the base, which is under your flower arrangement. We have burlap here, and this actually came off a roll of burlap, and I just cut it a little shorter, and then I pulled some of the strings out of the edges to give it that nice frayed look. And this is, I wanna say, maybe 16 inches long. And then we have this felt here, and I picked this color just because it's closest to this burlap. Um, at least that would have what I had in stock and we're going to be cutting that up You'll see that here and then I have foam and I just cut this off of a larger piece and this is Oh boy, maybe one by one ten ish and then we got this uh, knife which I used to carve the foam We have scissors and we have the glue gun All right, so let's get started Now I have our burlap here and I have this felt and we are going to cut just this edge off over here. Doesn't have to be perfect because this is being hidden underneath the felt. This is the very bottom of the project basically and you will see what I am talking about here. Okay, so we are just going to glue this together. Okay, and while that is gluing we're going to measure and we just want the felt to be sort of in the center I don't want it to overhang too much because on these edges we're going to have leaves sticking out so it doesn't need to be terribly long and see how this is curling right here I definitely want this to be the bottom of my arrangement so that it's not curling up it's curling down so we are going to glue this felt to the burlap and you want to be careful with this because burlap's got these holes in it and, it and hot glue can get pretty hot. So stick it like that and I flip it over real quick just so that it uh, doesn't glue to my table. And this knife comes in handy for multiple things. Alright, next thing we do is we just make a few hot glue lines. And this doesn't have to be pretty because this is the bottom of your project. The very bottom. The reason I do this is so it sticks on the counter, and I'll show you that in a second as soon as it dries. Okay, so these are all nice and dry, slightly warm to the touch, but, um, you know, no glue's coming back on these, so that's good. All right, and now we're just going to flip it over and see how it sort of, it has like a little bit of a give to it. Um, you can't. You can't just like slide it across the table, which is what we want. We want these to be a little secure so they don't fall off whatever they're sitting on. And this is just glue, hot glue, cheap, easy trick to make that happen. All right, so we're ready to go with this. And let's see here. I'm also going to cut these edges. Okay, and we're just going to hot glue that right there. And I know hot glue and foam don't like each other. You probably hear that. So we do it quick. And just put it right in the center. Again, this is the base of your project. You're not going to see it. So it doesn't have to be the most beautiful thing. And I think that actually happens a lot with crafting. Is you just make something beautiful and sort of hide all... Hide all the unpretty things under it, right? No, nobody needs to know but the people that make it. Okay, so I actually have this green plant. It's sort of like a bush that I didn't really need, and it was just collecting dust. So that is what we are using today. I went ahead and cut this stem off, and since I'm making eight of these, I figure it's a it's a good thing to die and go to go to another project. So it's being um. What can we say? It's being re recycled, right? Is that the word? All right, so cut all those off. And uh, these edges, we're just going to put a big one in. I got this fancy stemming machine. Let me show you guys that. It's pretty cool. Put the, uh, the clips in here, and then you just put your stem in and go like that, and boom, and it's picked. Isn't that nice? So put that right here.
It's got all this yellow on it, which is perfect because I want to make summery yellow and white arrangements. All right, little tip. So see how this one has four individual sections? One, two, three, and then the top over here is four. Well, this is a lot, and this is going to be too tall for our arrangement. So what I do is just push the bottom two down and cut it off in the center and then this top I just twist down so none of the you know none of the flowers can get off and now we have two arrangements that are a perfect height. Okay, went ahead and put picks on all of these so we could just freeze right through it. Next thing we're going to do is I have these other stems left over from just past floral arrangements where I didn't need the entire stem. What I'm going to do is just hot glue these in there um, so that I can use them in my floral arrangement. Of course, be careful, that glue gets a very hot. So, we are just going to place these, let's see here, definitely one in the middle. And next we are going to go in with our flowers. Pieces. I'm, not, I'm not really sure what these are, but they look really cool in flower arrangements, so we're going to use them. And then I also found this strand, uh, which has all these little pieces on it. And what I'm doing, same thing like I showed you before, curl the top and just cutting off so that I can use this for multiple things. And curl that one. All right, and now we're going to place these. We are all done, so what do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty cool. I mean, really simple if you consider. You know, it's just cutting and stabbing things on the phone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe or leave me a comment below. Also, you can find additional information in the info box and a link to my blog with this tutorial and others. Thanks for watching.